I've had my fair share of rollovers and it is absolutely, unfortunately, a great time to flip in a race car with the roll cage and five part harness. Yeah, easy. Yeah, I'd do that in real life, no problem. The car control is just so good. There's no way he's doing this. It's a sim wheel in Grand Theft Auto 5. Is this a thing? Are people doing this? Hey Gameologist, welcome back to another episode of Experts React. My name's Chris Noons, professional race car driver for Mazda Motorsports, and today we're going to be checking out a legendary game, one of my core memory games, Grand Theft Auto 5. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. Alrighty, here we go. Grand Theft Auto 5. What a legendary game. Pretty sure most people in the world have heard about this game. Even my grandma's heard about this game because I wasn't 18 yet and I wanted her to buy it for me. So my grandma bought it for me. She's like, Grand Theft Auto? Something that's always kind of bugged me about this game is we never really had real car names unless you're playing online and managed to have mods to be able to run realistic cars. However, the unique cars with unique names do make the game itself unique and that makes it fun to play. So it's cool, it's not cool, it's whatever you want to make out of it. Now I do wish in Grand Theft Auto, this is just me thinking out loud, that you were able to turn off trash control. Now, I know you can online with a mod, but in storyline, and when Grand Theft Auto 6 finally comes out, I hope that's a characteristic we can add in our Los Santos custom. we we'll be able to actually turn off trash control, throw down some floaty drift tandems with your buddies. And please, Rockstar Studios, if you're watching this, we're waiting for Grand Theft Auto 6. We are all waiting for Grand Theft Auto 6. So please, come out with Grand Theft Auto 6 and have some cool car content. When you're actually going fast in these cars, and I don't street race, saying that now, disclaimer, when we're on a racetrack going fast, it's a feeling that you cannot get anywhere else in the world. And when you're going 170 miles an hour, it's everything is going by you so fast, your depth perception, you have to get used to it. And it's such a unique feeling. And you can actually almost somewhat get that playing Grand Theft Auto V. All right, looks like we're going for a stunt series. So we get to check out our first kind of race. We're stepping out of free roam a little bit. We're gonna kind of see how this is gonna relate to some real life racing or how it's gonna relate to Mario Kart. So let's check this out. Our start there was terrible. That was Formula One style. Lights out and away we go. We're racing. This is just fun. This is like Mario Kart, uh, just a little more realistic. There is still characteristics we can apply to real life from driving. And that would just be obviously the basic racing line, how to apply power to not get in a big oversteer as we just saw, and overall race craft. Even though we're jumping a thousand feet and going 200 miles an hour and there's not much body damage that can occur, we can still learn good race craft and how to be smart with racing. So I used to race off-road professionally as well. And when you actually jump in the cars, it's a feeling that you wouldn't expect. When you have any free fall, if you go on a roller coaster, typically you get the feeling in your stomach that your stomach's rising. You actually don't get that when you're jumping in cars. It's, it's a very interesting feeling and it's due to the five point harnesses we have that holds you in so tight. If you're familiar with riding dirt bikes, even if you've only jumped a foot in the air, it is the same exact feeling jumping in a car. You don't get the weightless sensation and it's super fun even flipping in a car like we've saw what's happened a few times I've had my fair share of rollovers and it is absolutely unfortunately a great time to flip in a race car with the roll cage and five-point harness it is a very cool feeling it does not hurt at all as long as you don't have a sudden impact if your car is actually rolling it won't hurt very bad it's a very it's like a very expensive roller coaster ride that is the best way to describe it it's not as much the weightless feeling as much as the adrenaline rush you're tumbling it feels like you're doing spirals on a roller coaster just a very fun sensation to experience so if you're in an off-road car and you get a little over the edge and you tip over i hope you think about this video and say wow he was right that is just like a roller coaster and that was unfortunately very expensive this circuit is actually a real circuit if you didn't know this is laguna seca totally just kidding these circuits are obviously you can make your own circuits you can totally have fun with it which it's fun to be able to design your own circuits and kind of have fun with it for me personally i'm into making circuits that aren't necessarily big elevation changes like this but more flowing how fun of a track course can i design that's what i'm big into and that's a fun characteristic of the game 
let's go over the overall vehicle dynamics, how this Corvette is handling. We're gonna pay attention to the understeer. If you watched previous episodes to react, understeer is when you give wheel input and the car wants to keep going straight. Oversteer is when the back end steps out and you start correcting it. So next time we see a flat corner, I want you all to think, was that an oversteer or an understeer? And if you, if you hit the apex right, kind of start thinking like a pro race car driver. Let's get the mindset right here, even though we're on an arcade game. So with the banking like this and how much compression we're getting, the car is just gonna be so hooked up. You're gonna have all the steering you want. You won't see that oversteer or understeer. That's actually how it is on real tracks. When we have compression like that, cars are typically good. You wouldn't need to adjust setup based upon that. It's just on those flat corners where we really need to fine tune our vehicle. So here we go, coming to a flat corner. I'm gonna pause for one second and let you guys think about what happened there. What happened was the car had an oversteer. The back end stepped out, started correcting it, had a little too much correction, hit the wall, went for a little fun tumble there. So hopefully you're starting to pick this up and uh, learning a little bit here. Chris Noon's coaching classroom for the day, Grand Theft Auto 5. So all these cars, even though they're not realistic names, they're trying to replicate a specific car. That's a McLaren. I don't know, it's a T20. They might be trying to replicate the 720, but they all try to kind of represent a typical car that's kind of mainstream and, and users of the game will be familiar with. And then of course he has a racing suit, but come on, dude. He upped me with a cool looking racing suit. Mine's not that cool. In real life, on real racing circuits, we use curbing to get rotation out of the car. And on this game, there is curbing. We can see the red and white curbing. That's our racing curbing. It does not help get rotation out of the car. It's simply there for a look and give it a racing feel. You can't use that curbing to get rotation out of your car. So kind of unfortunate, but it's to be expected out of Grand Theft Auto V to say the least. To me, this is absolutely just hilarious to watch because I know these dudes are just having a blast playing this game right now. And it's nothing similar to what real life is. And that's such a big deal is that if you're into cars at all, which I'm assuming you would be because you're watching this video, that you can enjoy cars in all aspects. It doesn't matter if it's an arcade game, it doesn't matter if it's on a Nintendo DS. There's a car and you can enjoy it. That's what matters. And that's what we need more of in our car community. I couldn't imagine what the G-forces feel like coming through some of these compression zones. In real race cars, the most G-forces our tires will allow us to pull is about two and a half for the vehicles I've driven, where there I'm sure he was pulling about six to seven Gs, so he would have been near blacking out. Definitely, definitely very interesting. Oh, sweet. Now we're running a uh, racing wheel on Grand Theft Auto V. I've never even thought to do this. There's no way he's doing this. It's a sim wheel on Grand Theft Auto V. Is this a thing? Are people doing this? So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is the steering ratio is off. Look at how big of wheel inputs he's giving the car without an understeer coming out of the car to actually get the car to turn. He's turning it like 90 degrees to get any rotation. That was a nice little save. Got it on the bike, we call that an off-road. Corrected it proper. It does look fun to play out on a wheel. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it looks like a blast and it keeps your hands really busy. And that could actually honestly be good cross training for a real life racing car. Because when we're in a racing car, our wheel inputs are very minor. I'm talking like a few degrees to get the car to really rotate. And getting used to driving a car, we are giving it 90 degree wheel inputs both ways, trying to be fast with the wheel, snap it back and forth. It's gonna make your reaction time just that much faster in a real race car. So maybe this is the strategy. It's the training tool Lewis Hamilton's been using for years. I'm just assuming, of course, but I wouldn't doubt it. I feel like Grand Theft Auto has always been lacking in the audio category. That's something that has almost made Grand Theft Auto less fun for me to play. So that's a red check there. Sorry, Rockstar. Little drag race action. See, you can have a very diverse day playing Grand Theft Auto. You can go from a totally extreme racing circuit with loops, big banking, big elevation changes, or you can come do drag races with your friends, or you can go do some rally racing, off-road stuff. It's a very good variation you can get in a short amount of time. All right, here we go with some stunt jumps. This is easily one of the most fun parts about the game, is these stunt jumps. We got the rocket car, and he lands on a plane. You just can't see that in any other game. You just can't. Oh, we got the Back to the Future car? Yeah, easy. Yeah, I'd do that in real life, no problem. The car control is just so good. 
Oh man, he's gonna be bouncing off some buildings here. I already see it coming. Here he goes, up the building, bounces off the first one. See, I've never actually been able to do this. And I'm wondering, did this player plan this out? Like, is he thinking I need to go to that tower next? If you know, drop it in the comment section because I will be reading these and I'm curious. Maybe we can run some tandems through this if it's planned out. Listen to the end of this video, add me on Instagram. Maybe we can try to run a big tandem through some of these buildings and do something similar to what we're seeing right here. Big flip. I just don't know how that could be planned. I just don't understand. But if we can plan it out, we will make it happen because this looks so much fun. Oh, a little bunny hop, a little wall ride. This could actually happen in a car. Not the little bunny hop we saw, but sticking to a wall like that. The banking at Daytona is very aggressive. It's like 45 degrees banking. Don't quote me on that. It feels like it. And when you have that speed, such as this guy does with his rocket, it would actually stick to it just due to science. I'm not a scientist, but I know that's how it works. So that's about as in depth we're gonna go there. Oh, that was so sweet. This is actually Mad Mike's car for drifting and time attack. That is absolutely insane. I respect the car. I respect that gap you just shot. That is the way we are going to end our Grand Theft Auto 5 content. And we ended it with such a good note. The legendary, my core memory game, Grand Theft Auto 5. Overall, Grand Theft Auto 5, we love you. This game is absolutely a blast to play with your buddies. I am waiting for GTA 6, but that's besides the point. And if you did enjoy this Experts React, make sure you head over to Gameology's YouTube and Facebook channel. And if you'd like to connect with me, hop on some of these games, play together, any racing game, add me on Instagram at Chris, the number two, and Noons. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one in real life or in the game. I'm gonna redo that because I didn't say my, my name. The, the race car driver thing, yeah. I'm um, sure I am. Yeah. Okay, I'll mention that. Want me to do it again? <laughs> uh.